Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Alan Babich knocks out Tom Little in the third round. Interesting little fight while it lasted, but ultimately Alan Babich, his pressure, his power, his output was just a bit too much for Tom Little, which was predictable going into this fight. I think most people were imagining that Alan Babich would knock out Tom Little, and that's exactly what happened. But I think this fight did actually show the flaws in Alan Babich's game, and in my opinion, he's going to get found out sooner rather than later. But yeah, Alan Babich, he came out in his usual aggressive fashion, you know, swarming forwards, throwing a load of punches to body and head, mainly wide looping shots, and he was catching Tom Little uh, fairly regularly in round one, but Tom Little was actually making Alan Babich miss wildly at times, to the point where Babich would actually throw himself off balance. Alan Babich did actually hurt Tom Little in round one. He kind of buzzed him with like an overhand right, I believe, and uh, that certainly hurt Tom Little. But in round one, Tom Little was actually finding holes in Alan Babich's defense, and he was landing some nice effective counters. The problem for Tom Little, he's not really a guy with big punching power, so he never really made those counter punches tell in this fight, but he was catching Babich with some really nice counter right hands. He actually also landed a nice counter left hook to the body. And also when Tom Little would actually throw the jab, it was basically always landing. But you know, Tom Little wasn't really consistent with the jab in this fight. Round two, uh, I felt Alan Babich really started to stamp his authority on Tom Little. He was really working hard, working the body of Tom Little, working the head. You know, he was outworking Tom Little, 12 punches to one kind of thing. The work rate from Babich was far superior to the work rate of Tom Little's. Tom Little again in round two, he would land the nice little counter here and there, but you know, never really anything to hurt Alan Babich. Round two, another round for Alan Babich, and round three was where this fight ended. In round three, Tom Little was looking extremely exhausted, and he was blowing extremely heavily. And I think that's the reason he got stopped so early in this fight. You know, his cardio just really wasn't on that level to the point where he could fight that sort of fight with Alan Babich. He couldn't really cope with Babich's volume and uh, aggression. But yeah, round three, Babich drops Tom Little with like a cuffing wide shot. Um, Tom Little beats the count though, gets up um, and uh, carries on. Uh, Babich obviously jumps right over him and he lands some more hard shots. Tom Little actually counters quite effectively with, I believe, a right hand, but, you know, that just seemed to make Alan Babich angry. Babich comes forwards, lands a left hand, I believe, which drops Tom Little, and that was all she wrote. So, Alan Babich wins by a third round knockout, and he moves forwards. Now, listen, Alan Babich, he's certainly a fun fighter, he's exciting to watch, but in the heavyweight division, I really don't see this guy going that far, to be honest with you. First and foremost, He's too small, in my opinion, um, too light, and defensively, the guy has a lot of holes, and we saw that in this Tom Little fight. You know, Tom Little's not a puncher, he's not a durable heavyweight, he's not a guy with good conditioning, and basically, he's an area-level fighter in the UK, and he was, ma he was managing to catch Alan Babich flush on multiple occasions. So going forwards, I'm really not expecting Alan Babich to go far in the heavyweight division, if he, if he wants to get anywhere, you know, he needs to tighten up his defense, be a bit more methodical, try to use that jab a little bit more, use some more head movement, pay more attention to defense. You know, there's a lot of holes in Alan Babich's game, and especially at heavyweight, that's going to get found out sooner rather than later. And quite frankly, I would actually like to see Alan Babich move down to cruiserweight because, you know, this guy's an extremely small heavyweight. He could easily make cruiserweight. He wouldn't even be a big cruiserweight, to be honest with you. Alan Babich, and I think he would have more success in the cruiserweight division, but even cruiserweight is packed full of killers. Ultimately, I think Alan Babich is a fun fighter, but I don't see him as a, as a high-level fighter. That's just how I see it, and the talk of this Filip Hergovic fight, let's stop that. That fight is an absolute massacre. Filip Hergovic would beat Alan Babich from pillar to post, not even worth Hergovic's time, unless he wants a quick easy payday, I'll be completely honest about it, that's how I feel about that fight, don't want to see it, simple as that, but yeah, we'll see where Alan Babich goes, like I said, he's fun, he's exciting, but limited in my opinion, anyway, share your thoughts below, Beanie Guy Del Boy, peace.